আউজু বিল্লাহি মিনাশ শাইতানির রাজিম বিসমিল্লাহির রহমানির রহিম আসসালামু আলাইকুম ورحمتুল্লাহি ওয়া বারাকাতু দিস ইজ ফাইসাল ফাইম স্পিকিং প্লিজ ওয়াচ দা এন্টায়ার ভিডিও আই ডু নট ওয়ান্ট ইউ টু মিস সাম পার্টস এন্ড বিকাম কনফিউজড সো আই এম রিকোয়েস্টিং প্লিজ ওয়াচ দা এন্টায়ার ভিডিও সো ইউ ক্যান ইউ ক্যান আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড দা প্রপার ইনফরমেশন এন্ড দা মেসেজ অফ দিস ভিডিও এন্ড আই রিকোয়েস্ট ইফ ইউ লাইক দা ভিডিও প্লিজ গিভ সাম থামস আপ এন্ড শেয়ার ইট উইথ আদার পিপল এন্ড অলসো সাবস্ক্রাইব টু মাই চ্যানেল আই রিকোয়েস্ট প্লিজ লাইক মাই ভিডিও সাবস্ক্রাইব টু মাই চ্যানেল এন্ড শেয়ার ইট উইথ আদার্স থ্যাংক ইউ সো মাচ দিস ইজ ফাইসাল ফাহিম আসসালামু আলাইকুম ওয়াচ দা রেস্ট অফ দা ভিডিও প্লিজ ওয়াচ দা এন্টার ভিডিও থ্যাংক ইউ সো মাচ আউযু বিল্লাহি মিনাশ শাইতানির রাজিম বিসমিল্লাহির রহমানির রহিম আসসালামু আলাইকুম ওয়া রাহমাতুল্লাহি ওয়া বারাকাতুহু আহ দিস ইজ ফাইসাল ফাহিম স্পিকিং আহ দিস ইজ আবাউট আই এম ট্রাইং টু রেসপন্ড টু আ ভিডিও अबाउट ইউ নো সামবডি সেইং ইন আল্লাহ হ্যাজ ফর্মস এন্ড শেপস এন্ড ট্রাইং টু কম্পেয়ার উইথ আ ম্যান অর আ হিউম্যান বিং বেসিক্যালি ওকে so just because the quran says you know allah has hands or you know fingers or even if there are hadiths you know says allah has hands or fingers or legs etc it does not mean he has the hands or legs or fingers or eyes like the human beings okay you know allah is something that is the most superior and that is unimaginable and uncomparable with anything else so allah cannot be like a human being allah is not a human being and allah is nothing like a human being you know there are uh, you know ants and there are elephants and they both have hands and legs you know etc but they don't they're not the same thing they're different so you know there are creatures in the in the ocean you know they might have hands and legs you know there are germs you know they might have hands and legs you know so there are birds which have hands and legs are they all the same no so similarly you know the even elephants and you know monkeys you know they have hands and legs you know humans we have hands and legs are they all same no there are trees you know they have branches you know you can even say you know that the trees have roots you know so the the roots of the tree are like the legs and and uh, i'm just giving an example and the branches are like the hands so uh, are they like human beings no so you know and there might be aliens you know they might look different than us you know if there are aliens and they have hands and legs are they like us no So what I'm just saying you know just because the Quran tells in Allah has you know hands and there are some hadith which says Allah has legs etc it doesn't mean that Allah is like a human being Allah is the, the most superior un, unimaginable uncomparable there is nothing that you can compare with Allah there is nothing you can compare with Allah the moment you compare something with Allah that it does not mean that is Allah anymore the moment you can compare something uh, to God uh, it it just means the thing that you're comparing is not god so allah is uncomparable allah is not only different from the creation allah is separate from the creation and allah is also different from the creation and there is nothing uh that is a creation is like allah so allah is nothing like the creation okay allah is the creator of all creation and allah is not a creation so in islam uh we believe allah is basically made of nur you know made of light so and the light that we see is nothing like the light of allah okay so the nur of allah the allah is light allah is nur uh, it's not the it's not the light that we see in this our world okay it's, it's different so it's the, even the nur of allah the light of allah is unimaginable is more superior uncomparable with the light we see and does light have any shape or form no even the lights we see today they even the light do not have any shape or form and the light of allah the nur of allah that is the most superior that is unimaginable we cannot even tell how allah looks like exactly so you know uh, even if the quran or hadith talks about allah having hands or legs it does not mean that allah has hands or legs like the human beings we have it's nur is light and how it is it is unimaginable uncomparable and we do not know okay i already told you, you know, ants and elephants you know you know germs and aliens you know humans we all have hands and legs but we're not the same we're not different so allah is not just different allah is separate from the creation and allah is also different from the creation and there is nothing like allah so allah is unimaginable uncomparable so the descriptions in the quran where, where it says allah has hands and the hadith where it says allah has legs it does not mean allah is a man or human allah is totally unimaginable uncomparable and allah is nur light and uh, nur means light and uh, light has no shape or form and uh, the light of allah nur of allah is not like the light that we see in this world which is totally different and allah is separate and different from the creation and allah is the creator of all creation and allah is not a creation and allah is nothing like what allah has created allah is different from the creation thank you so much assalamu alaikum 
I heard the speaker answer that Allah has two hands. Isn't that a contradiction? Because Allah says that there is nothing like him and that nothing is comparable to him. Jazakallah khayran. Jazakum. Well, actually, this is the actual truth. Allah the Almighty has two hands. And this is proven in the Quran, if you recite the Quran. And also, it is mentioned in the authentic hadith. Allah the Almighty has hands. However, when we say that he has hands, or he has a face, or he has an eye, or he has a leg, we say these things without, without comparing him at all, and without even imagining any of this. And this does not mean that Allah the Almighty is compared to humans. For example, you are alive, and Allah the Almighty is alive. Is that correct or not? If you say no, it's not, then one of you is dead. Astaghfirullah And this is not true. Allah is living, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And His life is perfect. His life is without a beginning, and it has no end. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the first without a beginning, and He is the last without an end. Therefore, if you approve that Allah has a life, is it similar to our lives? The answer is definitely not. Likewise, Allah has hands. Are they similar to our hands? No. The Prophet said, والسلام, that the hearts are between the fingers of Allah. He flips them as he wishes. So ask Allah to make you steadfast on Islam. So Allah has fingers as well. Uh, does anyone dare to say that they look like this or that? Definitely not. And Allah has the higher example. I'll give you an example, but again, Allah has the highest example. We know that an elephant has a leg and an ant has a leg. Is these, are these two legs similar in any means? Of course not. The only thing that is similar is the name. It's a leg and a leg. So likewise, the attributes of Allah, we believe in them as they come, but we don't go and cross the line to explain or to say it's like this or like that. No. We approve and we confirm the attributes and the names of Allah Azza wa Jal without any similarities. We don't say it's similar to something. Uh, uh, giving it... Uh, uh, I, don't know, I don't know how to say it in, in English. So in Arabic it says that بِلَا تَكِيف وَلَا تَمْثِيل وَلَا تَشْبِيه وَلَا تَعْطِيل So we don't say how when we say that Allah Azza wa Jal has... Uh, Allah the Almighty descends to the lower heaven when it's the last third of the night. People say, how? So say, no, you cannot say how. Because you cannot imagine Allah the Almighty. How could you imagine uh, uh, his uh, uh, descent? So someone says, Allah has uh, hands. He says, it, the hand has this, or the hand looks like this. Some people say, Allah has a hand, and he has fingers. Astaghfirullah This is completely out of the question and it is not permissible to say such a thing so it is essential that you know your Lord it is essential to know who you are worshipping and this is done by going and studying the attributes and beautiful names of Allah the Almighty so you know that Allah loves and Allah gets pleased and Allah gets angry and Allah Azza wa Jal uh, 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 gets joyful. But all of these are, n are not at all similar to our attributes. Allah Azza wa hears, and His hearing is, like, is not like our hearing. Allah hears every single thing, even He hears the tiny footsteps of an ant over a solid rock in the middle of the night. He hears the leaves of billions of trees around the earth while they are falling. He sees every single tiny drop of rain and he counts it and he knows where it falls and when it's going to fall and where it's going to fall. Imagine of these billions and trillions of raindrops worldwide, he knows everything. 
He knows the move of every insect, every fish, every animal, every single bacteria, every single molecule of your body, every single... So his hearing, his uh, 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 seeing things are not like ours at all. And Allah Azzawajal knows best. Okay, uh, the second question of Rami was when people pray and say, Oh Allah Azzawajal, grant us the ability to see your face in paradise. Or when someone prays to you and says, May Allah Azzawajal allow you to see Allah's face in paradise. Wouldn't this be giving Allah Azzawajal attributes of humans? And the answer is no. Allah mentioned Azzawajal in his book describing himself a number of attributes that we believe in so allah azza wa tells us in surah ar-rahman wa wajhu rabbika allah azza wa and this is what i call myself and all of my brothers and sisters recite the quran get your best knowledge from the quran don't devote five minutes a day 10 minutes a day to the Quran. No, devote more, an hour, an hour and a half to recite the Quran and to learn what it says at the same time. Now, in the Quran, Surah Al-Rahman, Allah Azza wa Jal says, وَيَبْقَى وَجْهُ رَبِّكَ ذُو الْجَلَالِ وَالْإِكْرَامِ Everything will be perished except Allah Azza wa Jal. And here Allah Azza wa Jal is referring to himself by saying that his face will remain, which means Allah Azza wa Jal, uh, uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala, will not perish. He is the first without a beginning and he is the last without an ending. Azza wa Jal. He is the creator of the all, uh, uh, what you see and what you do not see. And he is not created. And he does not die. And he does not have an ending. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah described in the Quran that he has a face. Allah described in the Quran that he has two hands when he addressed Iblis, Satan. And he told him, what prevented you from prostrating to what I have created with my two hands? So this is what Allah described himself. Allah says in Surah Al-Qalam that on the day of judgment, Allah Azza wa Jal would uplift and show his leg. And they are called to prostrate and everyone prostrates except the hypocrites. All the believers would prostrate and the hypocrites will try to prostrate and their back goes one piece and they will be thrown into hell. Allah tells us, about himself subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has an eye the prophet tells us that the prophet has that allah Azza wa Jal has fingers when he says oh allah the hearts are between two of your fingers you flip them as you wish oh allah make my heart steadfast on your religion and so on these attributes one would say Akhi, this is similar to humans how can we say this to allah as i say i seek allah's forgiveness So I would say to those who claim this, Akhi, this word is known, but the meaning is different. When I say that an elephant has a leg and I have a leg and an ant has a leg, are the legs di similar? Definitely not. And Allah Azza wa Jal has the highest example. We do not Azza wa Jal simulate him to any of his creatures. But you believe that Allah is alive. So why don't you say that living is also part of human nature? Allah Azza wa Jal subhanahu wa ta'ala is alive. Allah Azza wa Jal is all hearing, all seeing. So Allah sees and Allah hears and I hear and I see. But there is no resemblance, none whatsoever, except in the description. Therefore, you have to believe in the things that Allah described himself, in the things that the Prophet described his Lord Azza wa Jal, and take it as it is without any addition. shall see your Lord just as you see this full moon. You shall see your Lord. The comparison is to the people looking at the moon and the people looking at Allah. You will see your Lord just as you see this full moon. No one will be fighting. No one will be arguing to see it. Everyone will be able to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The greatest blessing of Jannah is not Jannah. The greatest blessing of Jannah is not the things inside of Jannah. 
Rather, the greatest blessing of Jannah is something even more than Jannah itself. Allah says in the Quran, لِلَّذِينَ أَحْسَنُوا الْحُسْنَى وَزِيَادَةً Those who do good, they shall get Al-Husna, which is the name of Jannah. They shall get Al-Husna Waziyada, and they will get more than Jannah. What could possibly be more than Jannah? Our Prophet explained this verse. He made a tafsir of this verse. And he said, when the people of Jannah have entered Jannah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask them, O oh my servants, are you happy? The people of Jannah will say, Yes, O oh Allah, we are. Allah will say, O oh my servants, is there anything more that you want? The people of Jannah will say, And what could we want more than this, O oh Allah? Have you not caused us to enter this paradise? What more could we want? Then the Prophet ﷺ said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will lift the veil, yakshiful hijab, and they will look at his face. And they will not be given anything better and more noble than the looking at his face. And this is the ziyada that the Quran talks about. This is what the Prophet ﷺ said. Wahadihi ziyada. This is the thing that is more than Jannah. Allah says in the Quran, وَمَا تُنْفِقُونَ إِلَّا بْتِغَاءَ وَجْهِ اللَّهِ You're only spending your money to see the face of Allah. You're spending your money في سبيل الله to see the face of Allah. Allah says, you're being good to your relatives in order to see the face of Allah. Allah says, you're being patient. وَالَّذِينَ صَبَرُوا إِبْتِغَاءَ وَجْهِ رَبِّهِمْ They're being patient in order to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Quran tells us that when we see the face of Allah, when we see the face of Allah, our faces will become bright and shining. We all know the verse, وُجُوهٌ يَوْمَئِذٍ نَاظِرَةٌ إِلَىٰ رَبِّهَا نَاظِرَةٌ On that day, Faces will be shining bright. Now they're up. They're going to be shining bright. Why? Because they will be looking at their Lord. Ila Rabbiha Nadira. Ila Rabbiha Nadira. And this shows us that looking at the face of Allah is the greatest blessing given to us. And that face has been described as Dhul Jalali Wal Ikram. The face has been described as a face of Jalal. And Jalal means magnificence. Jalal means honor jalal means magnificence and ikram means nobility the face of allah is a face of honor and a face of nobility why because anybody who sees that face has been honored beyond anyone else anyone who sees that face has been given an honor and a nobility that no one else will possess and that face of allah we will not see it in this world musa asked to see but Allah said, you don't have the power. You don't have the, the power, the capability. That is something only in the next life. And a famous hadith of Abu Dhar al-Ghifari. After Isra al-Mi'raj, when the Prophet ﷺ went up, and he went to a place higher than Jibreel. The Jibreel, Jibreel took him up, and Jibreel said, I cannot go anymore. Now you have to go on your own. I'm not allowed beyond this point. So the Prophet ﷺ went higher than any created being has ever been. Then he came back down. Abu Dhar al-Ghifari asked him, this hadith is in Sahih Muslim, very beautiful hadith, very interesting hadith. Ya Rasul Allah, hal ra'ayta rabbak? Beautiful hadith. O Messenger of Allah, did you see your Lord? Did you see your Lord? And our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied, Noor anna arah. There was light everywhere. How could I see him? Noor anna ara. There was light everywhere. How could I see him? What light is he talking about? What is this light? Our Prophet explained in another hadith. He clarified in another hadith. And this hadith is reported in Abu, by Abu Huraira in Sahih Muslim as well. And in it he said, Allah Azza wa Jal has taken a hijab. Hijabuhu nur. Allah's hijab is nur. Allah Azza wa Jal has taken a hijab. By hijab we mean a covering. Allah has taken a hijab. What is that hijab? You see for us the hijab, the hijab covers the beauty. It covers the beauty and it envelops the beauty. 
for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the hijab itself is beauty and what is covered is beyond imagination. What it covers is beyond what the mind can comprehend. So our Prophet ﷺ said, Hijabuhu nur Allah's hijab is light. Law kashafahu, if he were to lift that hijab, la ahraqat subuhatu wajhihi mantaha ilayhi basaruhu min khalqihi. The rays of light that come from Allah's face would destroy everything that it sees. The beauty. The radiance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so powerful that the creation cannot bear to see it. So when the creation cannot bear to see it, out of mercy for the creation, Allah has veiled Himself from us in this dunya. And what is His veil? His veil itself is light. So when our Prophet went up all the way to Isra wal Mi'raj, he saw the veil of Allah. So when Abu Dhar asked him, what did you see? Did you see Allah? He said, Noor Anna Ara. There was the light. This is uh, Faisal Fahimi speaking. I'm going to uh, play uh, an article about the similarities between Islam, Christianity and Judaism. Also about Prophet Muhammad in the Torah and the Bible. So please uh, listen carefully to the uh, article that I'm going to play. And uh, uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel and also like and share the video. Thank you so much. This is Faisal Fahim. Please listen uh, to the entire video and listen carefully. Thank you so much. Please subscribe and like and share the video. Thank you. Similarities between Islam and Christianity and Judaism, 5 of the 10 commandments exit point 201, and God spake all these words, saying, 2, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. 3, thou shalt have no other gods before me. 4. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. 5. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I the Lord thy God am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Surah al-Baqarah 2 to 255 al-Quran, Allah. And there is no God but he, the living, the self-subsisting, eternal. No slumber can seize him nor sleep. His are all things in the heavens and on earth. Who is there can intercede in his presence except as he permit? He knoweth what, a breathe to his creatures as before or after or behind them. Nor shall they encompass out of his knowledge except as he willeth. His throne doth extend over the heavens and on earth, and he feeleth no fatigue in guarding and preserving them. For he is the Most High, the Supreme in glory. Muhammad, P.B.U.H., mentioned by name in the Old Testament, Prophet Muhammad, P.B.U.H., is mentioned by name in the Song of Solomon, Chapter 5, Verse 16, Hikoma Midikim, we call him Muhammadim Zedudeh Wazere Bena Jerusalem. His mouth is most sweet, yea, he is altogether lovely. This is my beloved, and this is my friend, O daughters of Jerusalem. In the Hebrew language I'm is added for respect. Similarly I'm is added after the name of Prophet Muhammad, P-B-U-H, to make it Muhammadum. In English translation they have even translated the name of Prophet Muhammad, P-B-U-H, as altogether lovely, but in the Old Testament in Hebrew, the name of Prophet Muhammad, P-B-U-H, is yet present. L-T, as majestic plural noun like Elohim which refers to one God only. So Muhammadim also refers to one Muhammad even though I'm can refer also to be plural. Isaiah chapter 29 verse 12, and the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee, and he saith, I am not learned. When angel Gabriel commanded Muhammad PBUH by saying IQRA, read, he replied, I am not learned. Quran 33 to 40 Muhammad is not the father of any one of your men, but he is the messenger of Allah and last of the prophets. And ever is Allah of all things, knowing. Numbers chapter 23 verse 19 King James Version, KJB, God is not a man, that he should lie, neither the son of man, that he should repent, hath he said, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? 112 Quran, say, he is God the one and only God, the eternal refuge God, the eternal, absolute, he neither begets nor is born. Nothing is there comparable to him. Moses, Jesus, Muhammad are prophets of God and prophets are not God. Islam means peace and submission to that one God in Arabic it is Allah.
He said, I am indeed a servant of God, he hath given me revelation and made me a prophet, O one nine point oh three one, and he hath made me blessed wheresoever I be, and hath enjoined on me prayer and charity as long as I live, O one nine point oh three two, he hath made me kind to my mother, and not overbearing or miserable, O one nine point oh three three, so peace is on me the day I was born, the day that I die, and the day that I shall be raised up to life, again. 19.034 such was Jesus the son of Mary, it is a statement of truth about which they vainly dispute. 19.035 it is not befitting to the majesty of God that he should beget a son. Glory be to him. When he determines a matter, he only says to it, be, and it is. Al-Quran, www.guideus.tv, www.gainbees.com, order a free copy of the Quran, call 800-662, Islam, there is a judgment day and God is going to judge us all one day. Find out the truth. Peace be upon you, smiley face, sincerely Faisal Fahim. According to Islam, the statements of the Torah and Bible which do not contradict but rather matches with Quran, Hadith and Islam are accurate but other statements which goes against the teachings of Quran, Sunnah, Prophet Muhammad, PBUH and Islam are errors made by humans. So those are not from God. Muslims believe Prophet Muhammad is mentioned in the OT and NT equals Torah and Bible. With Jews and Christians deny it. So they follow the teachings of the church and synagogue and do not follow what is written in their holy books. 1. Muhammad, P-B-U-H, P-R-O-P-H-E-S-I-S-E-D in the book of Deuteronomy, Almighty God speaks to Moses in book of Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 18, I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, like unto thee, and I will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. The Christians say that this prophecy refers to Jesus, P-B-U-H, because Jesus, P-B-U-H, was like Moses, P-B-U-H. Moses, P-B-U-H, was a Jew, as well as Jesus, P-B-U-H, was a Jew. Moses, P-B-U-H, was a prophet and Jesus, P-B-U-H, was also a prophet if these two are the only criteria for this prophecy to be fulfilled, then all the prophets of the Bible who came after Moses, P-B-U-H, such as Solomon, Isaiah, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Malachi, John the Baptist, etc. P-B-U-T, will fulfill this prophecy since all were Jews as well as prophets. However, it is Prophet Muhammad, P-B-U-H, who is like Moses, P-B-U-H, both had a father and a mother, while Jesus, P-B-U-H, was born miraculously without any male intervention. Matthew 1.18 and Luke chapter 1 verse 35 and also Al-Quran 3.42-47, both were married and had children. Jesus, P-B-U-H, according to the Bible, did not marry nor had children. Both died natural deaths. Jesus, P-B-U-H, has been raised up alive. 4 to 157 minus 158, Muhammad, PBUH, is from among the brethren of Moses, PBUH. Arabs are brethren of Jews. Abraham, PBUH, had two sons, Ishmael and Isaac, PBUT. The Arabs are the descendants of Ishmael, PBUH, and the Jews are the descendants of Isaac, PBUH. Words in the mouth, Prophet Muhammad, PBUH, was unlettered and whatever revelations he received from Almighty God, he repeated them verbatim will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, like unto thee, and will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 18, both besides being prophets were also kings, i.e. they could inflict capital punishment. Jesus, P-B-U-H, said, My kingdom is not of this world. John chapter 18 verse 36. B, both were accepted as prophets by their people in their lifetime, but Jesus, P-B-U-H, was rejected by his people. John chapter 1 verse 11 states, He came unto his own, but his own received him not. I.B. both brought new laws and new regulations for their people. Jesus, P.B.U.H., according to the Bible, did not bring any new laws. Matthew 5.17-18 It is mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 18.19, And it shall come to pass, that whosoever will not hearken unto my words which he shall speak in my name, I will require it of him. So the Bible, the Quran, and Torah all testify Muhammad is the last prophet and Islam is the complete religion. Thank you for listening. Okay, let me just read the whole thing, okay, what, that you just heard, okay? Uh, similarities between uh, Islam and Christianity and Judaism. Uh, five of the Ten uh, Commandments, Exod 20. Uh, one, uh, and God spoke all these words, saying uh, to I, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought uh, thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. 3. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. 4. Thou shalt have not made unto thee any graven image, or any uh, likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or uh, that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. 5. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, uh, for I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity 
uh, of the fathers upon the children unto the uh, unto the third and fourth generation of them uh, that hate me. Then uh, Surah Al Baqarah chapter two verse two fifty five Al Quran. Allah, there is <coughs> excuse me. Allah, there is uh, no god be, but He, the living, the self uh, subsisting, eternal. No slumber can seize Him, nor sleep. Uh, he is our all things in the heavens and on earth. Now, who is there can intercede in His presence except uh, as He permitteth? He knoweth uh, what appeareth. Uh, to his creatures as before or after or behind them, nor shall they come pass out of his knowledge except as he willed, as he willeth. Uh, his throne doth extend over the heavens and on earth, and he feeleth no fatigue in guarding and preserving them. For he is the Most High, the Supreme in glory. Muhammad, peace be upon him, mentioned by name in the Old Testament. Prophet Muhammad, uh, peace be upon him, is mentioned by name in the Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16. Hikko mamittakim vi kullo muhammadim zeh dude wa zeh rai bai na Jerusalem. Excuse me. Yeah. Um, his mouth is most sweet. Yea, he is altogether lovely. This is my beloved, beloved, and this is uh, my friend. O daughters of uh, Jerusalem. In the Hebrew language, I am is added for respect. Similarly, I am is added after the name of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, to make it Muhammadim. In English translation, they have even translated the name of Prophet Muhammad as uh, altogether lovely. But in the Old Testament, in Hebrew, the name of Muhammad uh, is yet present. It's a majestic plural noun like Elohim, which refers to one God only. So Muhammadim also refers to one Muhammad, even though I am can refer also to be plural. <coughs> Isaiah chapter 29 verse 12 And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee, uh, and he saith, I am not learned. When angel Gabriel commanded Muhammad, uh, peace be upon him, uh, saying, Ikra, read, uh, he replied, I am not learned. I am not learned, yeah. Uh, Quran uh, 3340 Muhammad is not the father of any one of your men, but he is the messenger of Allah and the last of prophets. And ever is Allah of all things, knowing uh, number, Numbers 23, 19. Uh, King James Version, KVG. God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said, shall... And shall he not do it, or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? <clears throat> uh, 112, 112, 112, Quran, say he is God, the one and only, God, the eternal refuge, God, the eternal absolute, he neither begets nor is born, nothing is there comparable to him. Yeah, I'm reading after that is, yeah. Uh, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad are prophets of God and prophets are not God. Islam means peace and submission to that one God. In Arabic, it is Allah. Okay, then after that is the Quran verse. Uh, he said, I am indeed a servant of God. He hath given me revelation and made me a prophet. 1931. Uh, and he hath made me blessed, whatever, I'm sorry. And he hath made me blessed, wheresoever I be, and hath enjoined on me prayer and charity as long as I live. 1932. Chapter 19, verse 32, basically, that's what it means. I'm reading from Quran, Allah al Quran. He hath made me kind to my mother and not overbearing or miserable. 19. 
33, well, chapter 19, verse 33. So peace, uh, so peace is on me the day I was born, and uh, that so peace is on me the day I was born, the day that I die, and the day that I shall be raised up to life again. Uh, 1934. Such was uh, Jesus, the son of Mary. It is a statement of truth about which they vainly di uh, dispute. 1935. Uh, it is not uh, befitting to the majesty of God that he should beget a son. Glory be to him. When he determines a matter, he only says to it, be and it is. Al-Quran. www.guideus.tv G-U-I-D-E. Guide. USUS.TV www.guideguideus.tv Then another website is www.gaingainpeace.com I repeat it's www.gainpeace.com Order a free copy of the Quran Call 1-800-662-ISLAM uh, there is a judgment day and God is going to judge us all one day. Find out the truth. Peace be upon you. Sincerely, Faisal Fahim. According to Islam, <coughs> the statements of the Torah and Bible which do not contradict but rather match with the Quran, Hadith and Islam are accurate but other statements which goes against the teachings of Quran, Sunnah, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and Islam are errors made by humans. So those are not from God. Muslims believe um, Prophet Muhammad is mentioned in the OT and NT equals Torah and Bible, but Jews and Christians deny it. So they follow the teachings of the church and synagogue and do not follow what is written in their holy books. 1. A Muhammad peace be upon him prophesied in the book of Deuteronomy. Almighty God speaks to Moses in the book of Deuteronomy uh, chapter 18 verse 18, I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, uh, brethren, B R E T H R E N. Okay, like unto thee, and I will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. The Christians said this, uh, pro that this prophecy refers to Jesus, peace be upon him, because Jesus was like Moses. Uh, Moses was a Jew as well as Jesus was a Jew. Moses was a prophet and Jesus was a prophet. If these two are the only criteria for prophecy to be fulfilled, then all the prophets of the Bible who came after Moses, uh, such as uh, uh, Solomon, Isaiah, Ezekiel, uh, Daniel, Hosea, uh, Joel, Malachi, John the Baptist, etc., will uh, fulfill this prophecy since all, all were Jews as well as prophets. However, uh, it is Prophet Muhammad who is like Moses. Uh, both had a father and a mother while Jesus was born miraculously without any male intervention. Uh, Matthew 1 18 uh, and Luke 1 uh, 35 and also the Quran. 342 to 47. It's basically the the books, holy books, and the chapters and the the verses that I'm referring to. First, I talk about the the holy books, and then I give the verses. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's read it. Uh, both were married. Uh, um, actually, according to those verses I just talked about, okay, from there I'm reading. Uh, both were married and had children. Jesus, uh, uh, was, uh, Jesus, according to the Bible, did not marry nor had children. Both died, died natural deaths. Jesus uh, has been raised up alive. Muhammad is uh, from uh, among the brethren, brethren of Moses. Arabs are brethren of Jews. Abraham uh, had two sons, Ismail and Isaac. Uh, the Arabs are the descendants of Ismail, and the Jews are descendants of Isaac. Uh, words in the mouth of Prophet Muhammad was unlettered, and whatever revelation uh, he received from Almighty God, he repeated them verbatim. Uh, okay, then, yeah. We'll raise them up a prophet from their 
brethren, like unto thee, and will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them all that I sh shall command him. Okay. Uh, Deuteronomy 18, 18. Both besides uh, uh, being prophets were also kings. Uh, they could inflict uh, capital punishment. Jesus uh, said, My kingdom is not of this world. John 18, uh, 36. Uh, both were accepted as prophets by their people in their lifetime. But Jesus was rejected by his people. John chapter 1 verse 11 states, uh, He came unto his own, but his own received him not. Both brought new laws and uh, new regulations uh, for their people. Jesus, according to the Bible, did not bring any new laws. Matthew 5, uh, 17 to 18. It is mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter uh, 18, 19. Uh, verse 19, I think. Yeah. Uh, chapter 18, verse 19. Uh, where was it? Yeah. And it shall come to pass that whatsoever will not uh, hearken unto my words, uh, which he shall speak in my name, I will recur it of him. So the Bible and the Quran and Torah all testify Muhammad is the last prophet and Islam is the complete religion. Thank you for listening. So the bottom line is uh, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad are all prophets of God and the prophets are not God. Uh, they are made by God, they are creation of God and they are not God. So Adam, Abraham, Solomon, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad are all made by God. They are prophets of God and they are not God and God is only one. And uh, God is the creator of all creation and God is not a creation. And uh, Allah means God and Islam is the complete religion. And Quran is the last revelation from God and Allah means God. Thank you so much.